Hello, welcome back to another one of Angron 10's videos. Today we're back with another house mod. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. What you gotta do first of all is go to Fort Strong for this uh, house mod and uh, head to the dock where you'll find this little ship which should take you out to sea. Now, this um, uh, house mod is called Dauntless by Cyber Moses and um, uh, it is a... Uh, well, it is a sea house, or a, um, uh, as you are about to see in a minute, a, um, unique, um, uh, house. You will have to have the Far Harbor DLC for this, but, um, anyway, let's get straight into it. So first you'll come to this sort of, like, little sort of, like, um, float in the water here. Um, uh, it's located here on the map. It is, uh, east of, uh, Boston, um, airport, and, um, uh, just across the water from Force uh, Strong. And uh, there will be an NPC you have to fight here called the Captain. There's a cloak you can have and um, uh, from him and a Captain's hat and a Captain's log. Uh, there's a tent over here which you can sleep in which is another thing that you get from the uh, Far Harbor DLC. And uh, without further ado, let's see there's the Captain's body. Yeah, as you can see this is a submarine house. Um, uh, this is the Dauntless and this is the house itself. Um, I mean like you can live outside but it's a bit pointless just living in a tent. Um, uh, but, um, uh, so you go make your way up the ladder and just, well, enter the submarine itself. So once you're inside, you'll see it's a pretty basic stand, uh, sort of like, submarine layout. You've got, um, a nice little things, sort of put down like a submarine cap. And, um, uh, it's actually got light switches, which you can turn lights off and on. Uh, I'll show you, there'll be a demonstration of that in a minute. There's a little sort of radar thing there. And um, uh, there's bells, and those crates over there, um, uh, you can actually store stuff in. And um, uh, so that's quite uh, cool and quite immersive. If I can just get through this door here. One problem about this mod is that it is very sort of like compact, so you can't maneuver very well. This is the bedroom. Once again, um, uh, love a little models. You've got a bobblehead there, and uh, the desk, which has um, uh, uh, magazines and uh, the captain's hat. And a harpoon gun in the corner there if you just saw it. And here's the lights which I was talking about which you can turn off and on. Uh, which is very smart indeed. Now if Dogmeat was just to move out of the way here. Thank you very much. You'll see there's a toilet around the back there. And there is a uh, door here but you can't go through it. Stuck. It's uh, inaccessible. Uh, so yeah. That's it for that part of the sort of like submarine. Uh, like I said, it's very hard to maneuver in here, especially with lots of companions. Here's the medibay. You will be able to store medical supplies in that cabinet just over there. It's a water fountain, and once again, another toilet. Most rooms in this mod do have light switches in, so do not worry if you are in need of a little light on the subject. <laughs> Um, uh, sorry. <laughs> you got some bunks here, and, um, uh, and you got the shower here. You can't use the shower, and you can't use the bunk beds, but they're just there for, um, added effect. Anyway, let's go down into the second floor, which you will find the armory and, uh, the power armor station. The place does come with a few, sort of, like, terminals and, um, uh, weapons. There's a weightlifting rack that uh, in the back there, and a weapons rack right there, and ammo cabinet. Um, uh, once again, some power armor and some fusion cores and fusion cells. And we come through here, and there's a chemistry station over there, and this is the torpedo room, where, um, as you can see there, the torpedoes are ready. You can't fire them, sadly, um, uh, but I'm sure uh, there'll be something like that in the near future. Anyway, coming into uh, this sort of sector of the sub, you'll find little rooms. Uh, just here for immersion, uh, to make it feel even more real realistic. Uh, these are sort of like, um, little missiles, sort of ready and primed. You got another chemistry station here with the Children of Atom, uh, bottles, which glow. Uh, which I do like the effect of this. And anyway, this is the reactor tunnel. You can go down here, it's just a small room. Um, uh, where it shows the reactor, then you've got a terminal that'll tell you a little thing about the reactor. A door which you cannot go through, so that is about it for the reactor room. Anyway, let's go straight into the diner over here, which is quite nice. I like this, it's all got, um, uh, a very, almost, um, work-based environment type feel to it. Once again, stacked bottles and food. Um, uh, and you got another one of those missile, um, uh, immersion things or places over there. Um, in here, you've got a barber place where you can actually cut your hair and um, uh, style your hair and colour it and do whatever you want. So that is pretty smart. 
like once again you can it's very hard to maneuver especially with a lot of people as you can see there um uh, and coming through here you'll see there is a little place um uh, I'm not sure what this is but it just looks cool like a little growing uh, a little bed for flowers and swamp life but anyway let's go back up top where you'll find ourselves back in the main room once again with the crates and um, uh, there is a terminal to the side of me which I'm pretty sure if you use it you can actually travel to places but I'm not sure because um, I haven't actually tried it yet um, uh, but once again, look, you've got loads of stuff and loads of places you can actually go. Once again, have to require, you, you, it does require the Far Harbor DLC. Um, uh, but yeah, let's go outside. So anyway, that's about it for uh, today. I hope you enjoyed this mod. Check out Cybermosis and check out the mod on the console page. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you later. I mean, I mean, the... The combat in this was quite sort of like experienced and you could tell that they had put a lot of effort into the story and especially with the characters, I mean all the characters had a detailed backstory and um, uh, all of them had their own sort of like opinions and attitudes towards other characters in the saga and I think that's what made this DLC one of the best, um, uh, well, ever that I've ever played.